students this is a continuation of the previous video we are designing uh, the armature so diameter of stator bore and rotor so we want to select the diameter of stator and the rotor it should be limited by peripheral speed we know how can't able to select the random values it has some limitation so you have to select the diameter of stator bore and rotor in such a way that the peripheral speed should be within the limit normal uh, value that is standard value for the peripheral speed is 60 meter per second for higher uh, peripheral speeds it can exceed it can go up to 75 meter per second so you have to select and this is the normally this limit is used normally that you have to select the diameter in such a way that the peripher peripheral speed should not exceed 30 meter per second that means it should not go beyond 30 meter per second okay so but this is the standard value but whenever you are going uh, doing the design part you have to select the diameter should be within the limit but if you are increasing uh, the rating power rating everything at the time you can go up to 75 meter per second otherwise it should be less than 30 meter per second if the length of the uh, length of the stator is greater than 125 meters you have to use ventilation ducts so the width of the ventilation ducts varies between 10 to 8 to 10 mm okay. then in your uh, stator you have to concentrate on stator winding and the stator core stator winding and the stator core so stator windings for the normal uh, small motor up to 5 hp you can use single layer for the large capacity you can go for double layer single layer or double layer and these windings connected in star connection or delta connection any one you can use right similarly for the stator core the lamination so core is cut into slices and then laminated to minimize the eddy current loss so the lamination thickness should be 0.5 mm and steel is used and in the st uh, stator core we have to find out how many slots are available and the dimensions of teeth at depth of the core these are the things we should know before going into the derivation part and this is a diagram this represents your stator it consists of slots so where in which you can uh, keep all the windings so this is called as tooth and this is called a slot in which you are inserting the windings correct now the winding can be in star connection so this is stator winding stator winding it may be connected in star connection like this otherwise it may be connected in delta connection now i want to find out all the details of these windings correct so what are the data i want to find out I want to find out the turns per phase how many turns available per phase and then length and area of the conductor these are the things I have to calculate so I want to find I'm going to find out turns per phase from the induced EMF and the stator winding so stator phase voltage I'm considering the phase voltage I'm considering phase voltage E is nothing but is a phase voltage so stator phase voltage that is equal to that is like your uh, transformer equation 4.44 kws f pi r so winding factor winding space factor constant frequency maximum flux density maximum flux and number of turns in the stator now i want to hear i want to find out phi m means i can able to find out phi m from the specific magnetic loading so specific magnetic loading p phi divided by d phi dl so p phi here maximum flux density I have to calculate so I am considering maximum flux in the holes so rearrange I can get phi m then I can substitute here I can able to find out any data okay this everything you have to use in your problem the same procedure I have to use in your problem for winding everything from this I can able to find out ts so number number of turns per phase t is nothing but turns per phase turns in number of turns in one phase this can be calculated from stator phase voltage 
and Corpro KWS F5 length of mean turn so this is empirical's relationship up to 650 volt I can use this formula mean turn length uh, mean turn learn length and this is in the state okay so uh, windings mean turn length in state so is equal to 2L plus 2.3 tau plus 0 0.24 so 2L nothing but length of the uh, stator plus tau nothing but whole pitch and then 0 0.24 L and tau are in meter next I want to calculate stator conductors so stator conductors area and the diameter A S and D S diameter of the stator conductor and area of the stator conductor I have to calculate so this is I can able to calculate using current density so A is equal to I S by del S so we know that density nothing but for example current density nothing but uh, current flowing to that stator divided by area from this standard equation I am rearranging this A is equal to I S by del S and uh, I want to find out a diameter of the conductor for that I can use phi uh, R square so instead of R square I can use D by 4 whole square so D by 2 whole square so D square by 4 so A is equal to pi D S square for D S something but stator diameter stator conductor diameter so I can rearrange and I can get the expression root of 4 A S by phi So to find out the winding dimension, state of winding dimensions, area of the stator conductor is equal to current divided by current density. So I want to find out the stator phase current. Stator phase current. For that I am using as it is a three phase machine, input KVA 2 is equal to 3 times ES, IS. ES, IS are the phase values. So ES is equal to stator phase voltage, IS is equal to stator phase current. From this I can rearrange, I can able to calculate IS. So small diameters I can use round conductors. If the diameters are greater than 2 or 3 mm, I can use the strip conductors. Choice of status slot. How I am going to select the number of slots, number of status slots. So now, whenever you are selecting the number, automatically it is an integer value. Okay, so it is an integral number. So, you want to select the number of slots in such a way that it should give the, it, it should be an integer number. So, here number of slots you can able to calculate from slots per hole per phase. So, the slot pitch YSS can be given as total surface, gap surface divided by total number of stator slots okay so the slot pitch nothing but this is slot pitch so this is open slot this is semi closed slot there are two types of slots available so slots nothing but in which you are going to keep your winding so different types of slots are available one is open slot another one is semi enclosed slot this is an example for open slot because this space is fully open semi closed slot means here one this is only half open okay the width of opening is very less comparing to this one this is open slot this is semi enclosed slot okay I want to find out the slot pitch slot pitch nothing but distance between the two slots that is slot pitch okay so slot pitch how I can calculate for its total gap surface the full one this is like so this is a stator path so full gap surface the surface divided by total number of status slot how many slots I am going to use okay like this so if I know this I can able to find out what is the distance between one uh, between two slots okay that is one slot pitch one slot pitch is equal to gap surface divided by total number of status slots so total number of status slot is taken as SSS so SS is a total number of slots then gap surface that means circumference of this diameter circumference of this uh, circle that is phi d so we know that phi d means it's a stator bore diameter stator bore diameter means 
from the cent, uh, diameter means here inner diameter of the stator inner diameter of the circle uh, inner diameter of the stator is called as bore diameter see here inner diameter of the stator is called as bore diameter from this i can able to can find out gap surface that is 2 pi r 2 pi r okay so i can substitute here pi d and this is ss from this i can get ss is equal to pi d by yss clear so then total number of stator conductors now i want to find out how many conductors you can keep total number of stator conductors so here it consists of some conductor here it consists of some conductor here it consists of some conductor inside the slot like that how many conductors are present in this stator slots that is total number of stator conductors present inside the slot okay the that i can able to calculate using this formula how many phases are available how many conductors are available per phase normally three phase r y b how many phases are available so how many conductors in each phase how many conductors in each phase okay so if i know this i can able to find out total conductors so yeah so number of phases and how many conductors available in one phase so how many phases three phases how many conductors i want to find out the conductors using number of turns per phase so i know that the one turn consists of two conductors one turn consists of two conductors so how many total number of conductors so two multiplied by three is one turn consists of two conductors so to find out the total number of conductors two multiplied by three is okay so three multiplied by three is the number of phases two ts is number of conductors per phase because it's number of turns to convert this into conductor and multiply it by two okay so this is your conductor per phase that is equal to six ts always you should remember this total number of stator conductors equal to 6 times ts clear yeah? okay now i want to find out conductors per slot how many conductors you are going to keep inside the slot previously we have calculated total number of stator conductors total number of stator conductors now i want to find out how many conductors i am going to keep like this how many conductors i am going to keep inside one slot right conductors you are going to keep in one slot for that is that ss is that ss that represents number of conductors in stator slots number of conductors in stator stator slots is equal to total conductor divided by number of stator slots total conductor divided by number of slots it will give you number of conductors in stator slots so just substitute the formula 6 ts divided by ss so you can get total uh, number of conductors per slot yeah so is that ss is a even number for double layer binding so so far we have calculated t yes that is number of turns per binding and area of the stator conductors diameter of the stator conductors length mean length of the stator conductors and then yss how we can calculate yss then yes yes number of stator slots number of stator slots then we have calculated total number of stator conductors stator conductors then we have calculated conductors per slot So so far we have completed the stator design. Thank you. We will see in the. We will discuss the other points in the next video.